G'day, Ben from Melbourne here. Canada, I hear you ask. New Zealand of the North, home of the big hitters such as the Trudeau family, the Bieber, and of course, Nadwa. But possibly the most famous Canuck, if I am allowed to use that terminology, not being a local, would be the one you know and love. Brian Embryotic Robot. It's been said that nine out of 10 people looking at a photo of Justin Trudeau and Brian will pick out Brian first. He's world famous and the nicest man you would ever want to meet. So, having said all of that, I'm heading over there and I thought I would feature some of my favourite Australian bands, some records and CDs of stuff I've got. Um, just thought it would be good fun. And uh, Brian and all my other Canadian friends can laugh at me or say, you know your shit. Um, so, yeah, I've tried to go for not obvious ones. So in the hope that I get some cred, that I have some deep Canadian shit. Uh, so if you live in that great big white land, hopefully it's not white when I'm there because it's too fucking cold, the snow for me. I've heard it's a nice time of year in June. These are my dates. I'll be flying out on the 1st of June. Um, and heading to Vancouver and Vancouver to Toronto, which I'll arrive on uh, June the 10th and be there until June the, sorry, goggle time, June the 16th. So it would be great if any of you Canadian people want to hook up. Um, just um, contact my personal assistant, Brian, and he will sort it out for you. Also, I'm going to be staying from the 16th of June to the 19th um, on the Canadian side of Niagara Falls. So if you're kind of like into that, I'll be there. And then... That's right, I'm so generous, I'm giving you Yanks a chance. I will be in Frank Sinatra's town, New York, New York. From uh, the 19th of June until the 26th, and then I'll uh, be fly, fly, flying away to Japan land. Because i got to see the Rallos, you know how it goes. Anyway... During this entire time, sorry for that extreme close-up, but I had to put the goggles down. Um, I won't be able to make videos, obviously, so I've got a backlog of those fantastic, wondrous 7 inches videos um, to whet your appetite. Some of the best Australian stuff you're likely to hear, and you usually don't like it because people don't seem to dig seven inches and they have the lowest views I have. But you're missing out if you're not going to watch because there's some great tunes in there. Just trust me. So yeah, by that uh, rationale, token, any other word that's better that fits the bill, I probably won't be able to be watching many of your videos as you probably have noticed people who I regularly comment on, I'm way behind already at the moment. Life's just got a little bit crazy. And I'm, yeah, way, way back. You're probably getting comments from me watching videos of your, yours from weeks ago. So yeah, sorry about that. I'll do my best. Um, yeah, when I travel, I'm like this shit, man. Focused, I'm about the experience fuck the internet I don't want to yeah 
ruin the ex the you know exquisite experience that I'm sure I'll have in Canada. Um, what else? Supposed to have a stream with uh, Brian, organised by the uh, French Vinyl Addict. Uh, and some other VC luminaries. But I'm not sure it, if it's going to go ahead because I think I said a few videos back it was going to be on the 18th, but now that's changed and it's meant to be on the 25th. And that will be cutting it fine for me because that's the weekend before I leave for the northern world. Anyway, I reckon it would be best if you just check on the um, French Vinyl Addicts channel for updates on that. So if I'm on it, I'll see you. If I see you, if I'm not, I'm not. You'll just have to live without me. I think that's all the housekeeping done and we can get into the goddamn records. But first, a tasty sip of South Australia's own Coopers. And this is the original pale ale. Check it out, Grandpa Gazza, Cosmic, and other lovers of a brew. Right, let's go. Let's start with Broken Social Scene and their album Forgiveness Rock. This is where I got off. Sorry, Broken Social Scene. Really liked you, and then after this point, I kind of lost interest. This is a great record. It's quite epic. Um, I got a few before this, but they're all on CD, and I don't want this to take seven years. Saw them live twice, really, really good. Love the offshoot bands. The I think it's Stars is one which are really cool, and I like, like the album by the Apostle of Hustle. But that dude was a bit of an asshole when um, I met him. He seemed really cool. And then he, the next time, he was really Mr. Cool, too cool for a school kind of cool. You know, the one where you just like, just fucking back the fuck up, brother, because you might be in a band which tours the world, but there's no need to be an asshole! Okay, let's not take that long on every record. Next. Godspeed, you black emperor. Amazing post-rock instrumental band. Um, this is one of their really early albums. I think I like the first two best. There's a CD. I don't know the full story, but it's different from the album, even though these are both supposed to be the debut, but they're both amazing. I've got a few of their CDs. And um, I've also got this one. Uh, what's this one called? Something asunder. God. Okay, there's probably going to be some goggle action because these Canadian bands do love a blank cover. Don't bend, ascend. Sounds like some kind of self-help advice. Cool cover though. Amazing band. Saw them live um, as well at, uh, what was it? It's one of those All Tomorrow's Parties festivals. They were unbelievably loud, which I didn't expect, but really, really good. Then um, Sunset Rubdown. Never really thought about it, but that's a hell of a name. <laughs> uh, I think if I got this right, they're a um, spin-off band of Wolf Parade. Sorry, Canadians, if I got that wrong. But yeah, great kind of art pop. There's a lot of like arty kind of shit in a lot of these indie bands going on a lot of these ones are kind of turn of the 2000s like late 90s into 2000s so it's really getting into a lot of canadian bands at the time worth checking out um of course everybody knows arcade fire this was their third album the suburbs probably i don't know this would be nearly my favourite. It's and it, it's probably the most low key out of the first few because the first few are like very bombastic and there's a bazoo and things going on. But I, I quite like this one. And again, got a few of them on CD too, the early ones. And then oh, one of my favourites, 
the Besnard Lakes. Your husband and wife team, amazing vocals. It's kind of like um, the Beach Boys over some epic sounding shoegaze. I don't know. They're, yeah, that's the best I can do to, do to describe them, but make some amazing music. This, I think, was their second album. Um, yeah, the Besnard Lakes are the Roaring Night. And there's also that one. <laughs> Look it up. You, you're on Discogs. If you aren't and you're in the VC, you don't know what you're doing. Next, um, another one of those maybe wolf eye wolf eyes what the hell are they called wolf parade wolf eyes are a noise band also good but not canadian uh frog eyes tears of the valedictorian valedictorian yes that's how you say it more art indie stylings um really interesting stuff so interesting I bought their follow-up record called Paul's Tomb, A Triumph. And if that's not pretentious art <laughs> rock, I don't know what is with a title like that. But they're a really good band. Uh, now the opposite of pretension, just full-on party rock out two-piece mode, bit garagey, but also kind of like if Bruce Springsteen was a two-piece. That, of course, is... The Japan Droids saw them live as well. The Corner Hotel that was a rocking show, really good fun. Like every song is like, Yes, it's all fist pumping stuff. Um, and then there's their No Singles Comp and Celebration Rock. And then I kind of dropped off, I wasn't as much of a fan of the next one, so I didn't get that. Then back to the Artie Wank instrumental band. Oh, I'm going to get this wrong. I always get the order wrong. Is it do, make, say, think, or do, say, think, make? Do, think, may, say, think, think, may, sing, do, they, may. Mm. Hopefully one of the upcoming albums actually has the name of the band on the cover, so I can tell you the right band. But this is really good stuff. Um, not as kind of epic sounding as Godspeed You, Black Emperor, but a little bit... Oh, they have their moments, I suppose, but yeah, probably more on the subtle side, but it's very in that post-rock style. Um, I like a lot of instrumental music, and they were a really good one. This is another one of their albums. Again, with no goddamn writing, but a groovy cover because you can go, Woohoo! We all love that. Another one, not much info. You know, you like, oh, I think we have spinage, but the next one's in big print, so let's go with that. What are they called? Do make, say, think. Mm -hmm. But that's the back cover. <laughs> <laughs> this is the front cover. This is why most people don't know them. Because they're not really putting themselves out there. But you got to admire they're sticking to their art. And then, total left turn into the punk world, of course, with DOA and Something Better Change. Friggin' awesome punk rock from the early 80s. And probably my favourite punk name with Joey Dickhead on vocals and guitar. Also feature in, um, what's that? Uh, it's not a documentary. What do they call it when it's a fake documentary? About the legendary um, non-existing Canadian hardcore band. Uh, hardcore logo! And they're in this as well. Jeez, that's a good fake documentary. What do they call them? Can't think of it. Anyway, moving right along. Now, Canadians, they can even do the stoner rock, and man, they do it well. Especially Black Mountain, killer, killer band. Um, this is a great album, yeah, in the future. Uh, I got another one of those on CD, but I didn't think to put it behind me. Cool.
cool cover, man. Like, whoa! Third eye growing kind of shit. And then a, what? A shark behind a cage in a parking lot? What is it all about? Who knows, but another great black mountain record called Wilderness Heart. And take what you will from connecting that to this image. Now we're getting to the last of the records with Swan Lake. More art rock, pop, indie shit. Really, really good. Um, I think they have a connection to Wolf Parade as well. Didn't actually pull out the Wolf Parade album, you dickhead. Um, another Swan Lake album with possibly the most boring album cover of all time. Anyway, talk amongst yourselves for two seconds. I'm just going to go get the Wolf Parade. All right, I'm back. Don't panic. Hope you enjoyed just looking at some stuff behind me with the dead air there. Oh, I bet that was worth the wait, people. Mm-hmm. More art rock from that great land, Canada. Wolf Parade. Really good. Got a few of their CDs as well. Check them out. Speaking of CDs... The Sadie's rootsy stuff. How brilliant is that cover? I like the inside cover too. In that party. Tokyo Police Cup, uh, Tokyo Police Club. Great indie rock band. Saw them at Ding Dongs years ago. They were really good. But that was when, one of the first times I felt like I was old because they look like they're about 14 years old. But really good band death from above 1979 bass and drums fucking full-on and awesome who i'm going to call the canadian smiths and that's the deers these are probably my two favorite albums of theirs um yeah gang of losers i think that gets the edge for me and the previous one Oh, holy shit. If you're going to put green on black, print it big. No cities left. Another banger. And you're probably thinking, why aren't you showing Lenny? Leonard, Leonard. We miss you so much because you're dared, dared, Leonard. Sorry if that offends you sensitive motherfuckers, but it's the truth. I love him, but he's dead. Sounds like a song that Leonard could cover. See? I got his shit. I wasn't lying. Ta-da! Everybody knows Lenny and everybody knows he's Canadian. What about Neil? Neil, you once were Canadian, but now you are American. Neil, you once Canadian, but now you are American. Neil, you once were Canadian, but now you are American. Neil, you once were um. No, that, that's probably about time I stopped that anyway. So as you can see, kids, I like Neil. Like Neil quite a bit. Neil. Neil. Orange peel. I like your work, son. Oh. So much, Neil. So bloody much, Neil. Thank God, that's the last one. Well, he's an American these days, isn't he? He changed his citizenship. He's a Canadian trader. Anyway, that's my collection. Shit, I nearly knocked it off the table then. Hopefully I see you motherfuckers in Canada, if you're Canadian or otherwise.
be nice to see anyone. But stay safe. I never say that. Why am I saying that? I don't know. Maybe because of, you know, airplane. Woo! Go down. It's on the back of the, you know, in the mind. I'm not a, um, what would you call it? Confident flyer. Because they're big. They're heavy. How the fuck they stay up there? All right, I'm getting sidetracked. See you in the next one.